In the year of 1947, the British decided to leave India, but just before they packed their bags, they had made India bleed even more by pushing it into a deadly civil war. Who would have thought at that time that just in a few decades Indian companies would be buying and taking over the top British brands like Jaguar, Range Rover or the famous tea brand that we know as Stepley? Who would have imagined that an Indian brand Tata would buy a steel company Coros and provide jobs to the British in their own land but without making it a colony. Actually, I will not be very surprised if this video will shock the international community a bit. When you hear the word India, the images that come to your mind are something like this. When the media in your country talks about India, they show you clips like this. But what they are not showing you and what they are actually hiding from you is that India also looks like this. Who could have thought a few decades earlier that the British government would be panicking and calling a special session of parliament when an Indian company Tata would decide to sell their brand Chorus, which would be making thousands of British jobless? Who could have thought that in just a few decades after the independence from the British, an Indian company, Tata, would actually become the biggest private sector employer of the UK. It took just a few decades for the Indians to show what they were capable of, and all of this was done in a complete fair business environment, not by colonizing, looting and killing as the British did. And I am not talking about just one Indian brand. Today, there are many brands and individuals from India who are creating huge business empires on the land of the UK. But Indians are not here to take any revenge or prove a point. They are just doing what they have been always good at. And that is not just yoga, Ayurveda or IT. Indians, who are the masters of spirituality, are also masters in business. Indian economy has finally gained momentum and mind you, it has not got to the fifth gear yet. Probably it is still in the second gear, but what is surprising that even in the second gear it has already become the fastest growing major economy in the world, already taking over China in that regard. And India still has so much of unutilized potential which is lying in its reserves. Now let's talk about the major industries of India. IT sector. India is the world's largest sourcing destination for the information technology industry, accounting for approximately 67% of the 124 to 130 billion US dollars market. India ranks third among global startup ecosystems with more than 4,200 startups. Science and Technology India, a country which is a nuclear power, also ranks third among the most attractive investment destinations for technology transactions in the world. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has completed its mission of developing India's independent navigation system by launching Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, which means India has its own version of what in the West we know as GPS. India is constantly helping other countries like Singapore, Germany, UK and many more to launch their satellites as well. It has successfully undertaken space mission to Moon and even Mars. Pharmaceuticals Sector the Indian pharmaceuticals market is the third largest in the world in terms of volume and India is the largest provider of generic drugs. Gems and Jewelry Sector India is one of the largest exporters of gems and jewelry in the world. They are a hub of semi-precious and precious stones. 
How many of you actually knew that 95% of diamonds in the world are cut, polished and processed in India? And most of it happens in just one city of India that is called Surat. Healthcare sector. India is fast becoming a hub of medical tourism of both types of healthcare, modern medicine and natural, which includes Ayurveda and other natural treatments. It has the advantage of the new state-of-art hospitals and well-trained and high-skilled professionals, which is supplemented by its low cost. The cost of surgery in India is about one-tenth of what in the US or Western Europe. India is a top destination for you, whether it's about natural treatments, a heart surgery, a cosmetic surgery or a dental treatment, which your country's natural insurance may not be covering. Real Estate Sector India is building future cities of the world, the massive plan of building 100 smart cities. To give you an example, over 5 million homes are under construction just in the national capital region of India. A majority of people in India still live in villages and India is preparing itself for the biggest migration of its people from villages to the cities at a scale which the mankind has probably never seen before. Infrastructure sector India is growing its infrastructure at an unbelievable speed. Did you know that its capital already has around 250 kilometers of modern metro rail? And it's going to add a few hundreds more, which is going to make it the biggest in the world, close to Shanghai. Almost all its major cities are seeing the rapid development of metro, and the construction of bullet trains connecting the major cities are underway too. Not just that, India is developing infrastructure in the other parts of the world, and growing its influence by making ports and developing other mega infrastructure outside India too. Automobile sector Apart from all the international companies which are lining up to make the most of India's automobile market, which is literally exploding, India's own brands are not far behind. From the premium brands of Jaguar and Range Rover to the cheapest car Tata Nano, India has it all. You will be surprised to know that India has a long list of its own automobile brands like Mahindra, Hero, TVS, Ashok Leyland, Bajaj, Force Motors, Iker, just to name a few. Hero is the world's largest manufacturers of two-wheelers. Mahindra are another big name who are very close to the acquisition of Alfa Romeo a while ago. Agriculture sector India is the largest producer, consumer and exporter of spices and spice products. It is also the source of the delicious mangoes, pulses and famous basmati rice that is known for its taste and fragrance around the world. The good news is that the northeast part of India has its agriculture based on the traditional organic farming, which has been untouched by the failed scientific experiments of fertilizers and genetic seed modification. How many of you actually knew that India, which is nearly half in area of China and the US actually has more arable land than China and is second largest in the world, only marginally behind the US? Also, other sectors of India are worth a mention here, such as cement industry, which is the second largest in the world. Also, India is growing rapidly in biotechnology, aviation, banking and insurance, film industry, media and entertainment, and many more. It is also a big exporter of textiles, which includes finest silk, pashmina, leather and marble. Besides, how many of you actually knew that some of the top brains in the world are either Indian nationals or of Indian origin? Sundar Pichai, an Indian, who has studied in the Indian Institute of Technology is now the CEO of Google. Satya Nadella, who is the CEO of Microsoft, is a graduate from Manipal Institute of Technology in India. 
The CEO of Adobe Systems is also an Indian and his name is Shantanu Narayan. And these are just a few names. There is a long list of global CEOs from India. So no matter where you are in the world, whatever country you might belong to, whether you are a young boy or a girl, in a primary school or a college, you must know that sooner or later you will have to have something to do with India. And it is inevitable because India is fast establishing itself as a top three economy of the world. And its true potential is even bigger than that. So it's better that you start educating yourself about the rising economic powerhouse that we know as India. Because your future belongs here too. And as I have said earlier, India is not just developing, 